Robert T. Kiyosaki, Second Chance, For Your Money, Your Life and Our World. Dive into the world of personal finance as presented by Robert T. Kiyosaki in his book, Second Chance, For Your Money, Your Life and Our World. Learn how the existing monetary system and inflation play a significant role in robbing individuals of their hard-earned wealth. Address common misconceptions about wealth and education, and understand the importance of financial education over traditional higher education. Challenge your current beliefs and uncover the possibilities of leveraging debt to your advantage, all while embracing the entrepreneurial mindset. The Wealth Disparity Inflation and Bank Lending Limit, a Cause of Financial Disparity The phrase, the poor get poorer and the rich get richer, has never been more accurate in the United States than it is today. This is primarily because the current system is structured around inflation, which causes the hard-earned money of the average person to lose its value. Depositing one's savings in a bank account only worsens the situation because banks lend out available funds to debtors, resulting in a significant increase in the money supply. Such wild lending practices often lead to financial bubbles, which are resolved by taxpayer-funded bailouts built into the system. Unfortunately, inflation and bailouts primarily harm those who work for a paycheck, i.e., small businesses, freelancers, and specialists. These are the groups that pay the highest taxes and tend to keep their savings in the bank. As a result, the middle class is shrinking at an alarming rate, with 42.2% of Americans earning a middle class income as of 2010, a significant drop from the 50.3% reported in 1970. Therefore, the current monetary system's flawed characterization is a source of financial disparity, with no resolution in sight. Breaking free from poverty, why we need to rethink education. Schools aren't teaching us how to be wealthy, they're teaching us how to be employed, taxed, and consume. If we want to break free from poverty, we need to educate ourselves on money matters, but unfortunately, most schools don't offer financial education. This lack of education leaves many defenseless against financial crises, like the 2007 derivatives market crash. Additionally, the lack of education leads to misconceptions about wealthy people. The truth is, some wealthy people became so precisely because they were generous. Education needs to change. The power of financial education. Financial education is crucial for creating wealth and gaining financial power. Traditional education does not teach you how to create assets that generate income without you having to work for it. Real wealth is built on assets and not just a big paycheck. Investing in assets like rental properties helps to increase wealth and results in lower tax rates. People who are not financially educated often mistake liabilities for assets. For example, a personal house is a liability because it incurs mortgage payments and taxes. Financial education is essential in gaining financial power that is too powerful for schools to teach, just as slaves were prevented from reading and writing. Therefore, gaining knowledge beyond traditional education explanations is necessary for creating and maintaining wealth. The Path to Wealth Understanding the Four Asset Classes for Financial Success Determining one's socioeconomic status is not as simple as it may seem. Many may appear rich but are still struggling financially. To improve one's financial situation, it's crucial to know where you stand by creating an income statement and balance sheet to keep track of income, expenses, assets, and liabilities. Assuming all possessions are assets is a common mistake. The author explains how to distinguish between assets and liabilities. Only the objects that generate money without active involvement are actual assets. To plan for the future, you need to choose from the four asset classes, business, real estate, paper, and commodities. The author's interest in commodities and real estate motivates him to hold and study his assets carefully. Studying one's investments is crucial to maintaining and maximizing the value of these assets. Acquiring assets is the first step towards achieving financial success. It's important to select an asset class you're passionate about and motivated to learn more about. 
The following sections will explore how to begin investing and strategizing for long-term financial growth. Entrepreneurial Success Achieving financial independence and wealth requires more than just a college degree. Becoming an entrepreneur calls for a mindset shift and acquiring specialized skills. Entrepreneurs excel in being generalists, knowing a little bit about everything required to run a successful business. Instead of competing with colleagues, strive to cooperate with others towards a common goal. Success in big business and professional investing requires the right education and skills, including team building, leadership abilities, and understanding company missions. The goal should be to build a business that aligns with your future aspirations, not just pursuing wealth for its own sake. A fulfilling and satisfying life shouldn't be measured solely by material wealth. Skills for financial success Intelligence is not only measured in school, but also in practical skills that are essential for entrepreneurs to build a successful business. Handling risks, learning from mistakes, and staying level-headed are critical. Practical skills are more important than memorizing historical facts. It's through experience that we learn and remember, not just information for written exams. Mistakes are not a sign of stupidity but are valuable opportunities to learn. However, before investing cash, it's advisable to simulate the experience through practice. Studying ads, visiting properties, and talking to brokers are some ways of acquiring entrepreneurial skills. Coaching, taking courses, and practicing regularly can help you acquire the necessary skills to become financially successful. The Power of Debt for Entrepreneurs Debt can be a valuable tool for entrepreneurs to create assets and gain leverage. Traditional thinking of working hard and saving money without loans may not lead to success. Instead, using debt to do more with less can create wealth and investment opportunities. Many people believe that staying out of debt is a crucial step towards financial security. However, for entrepreneurs, debt can be a powerful tool in achieving success. The traditional thinking of working harder, saving more and buying assets without loans may not lead to wealth creation or investment opportunities. In contrast, using debt to do more with less can yield significant financial gains. To demonstrate the power of debt, the author cites the example of a musician who can reach a broader audience by selling their CDs instead of playing live shows. Similarly, debt can help achieve similar goals by allowing individuals to create investments and assets they may not have otherwise been able to afford. The author emphasizes the importance of creating assets through debt to gain leverage. The approach may seem counterintuitive, but by taking calculated risks, entrepreneurs can create significant wealth. The author illustrates the approach with the example of a friend who used debt to buy a 150-year-old church in Scotland, which he converted into an exclusive housing complex. His investment not only generated significant returns but also provided a unique living space to many. In conclusion, entrepreneurs should not fear debt, but instead, use it as a tool to create assets and gain leverage. By doing more with less, entrepreneurs can achieve significant financial gains that traditional thinking may not provide. In a Second Chance, For Your Money, Your Life, and Our World, Robert T. Kiyosaki sheds light on the problems plaguing our monetary system and how they result in financial woes for the general population. With a primary focus on financial education, Kiyosaki demonstrates that real wealth is achieved not through traditional education, but instead by understanding and navigating assets, debt, and investment opportunities. By adopting an entrepreneurial attitude, embracing risk, and rethinking common financial beliefs, individuals in the age range of 20 to 40 years can transform their financial future and harness the true power of financial intelligence.